I think we met one time years ago at DEF CON and you had a Segway. And I remember you were the first person I ever saw or met with a Segway. So it immediately made me think, aha, that person's connected. And well, a Segway is technology, said, and it was such a huge part of my life. Um, you know, yeah. we'd carry them in our cars, so wherever we went, like Las Vegas, DEF CON, um, have the Segways ride around. It was such a pleasant, did an incredibly great thing for those of us who rode them. Well, and it was green before green was a thing. Yeah, it was different, but it was to me it was just because it was so different. Somebody had actually taken their brain and some physics calculations and... and uh, it, you know, it wasn't total so much the greenness. I mean, if it had a, a big gas engine, I don't think I'd enjoyed it as much. No, it's just nice and smooth. Yeah. And yeah, I remember the gyroscopes on those were the magical, uh, the magical hack. Figuring out how to downsize those gyroscopes. Yeah. Well, it was really um, incredible to just. It's always under you. You don't worry. Well, we saw you at DEFCON zooming around swimming pools, and you seemed pretty confident. And so that was a <laughs> that was pretty encouraging. Yeah, what I remember so, from DEF CON is less that. I don't even remember having it there, but just running to people, talking to people, people that I met, and they were my kind of people because of what DEF CON's about. And it's almost like, to me, DEF CON almost sometimes means defeat contracts. You know, we don't follow the, the rules. The rule, yeah. bad rules, bad rules aren't meant for us. Well, we didn't know how to throw conferences, so we invented it up along the way, and we ended up with our own thing. Um, sort of lack of rules, right? It, that was something well, older people did. I like people yeah. that, a lot of people, you know, especially a lot of like maybe musicians that I know. I love the people that just sort of went around and the rules didn't matter that much to them. They just took risky lives doing the sorts of things that you make movies about. Is there anything you're most, what, what's your most proud of engineering and, and uh, or hack, I should say, you know, the, you're most proud of? And if you had to do one over again or you had to fix something you screwed up, what would it be? It's kind of like, Bob Dylan that I mentioned, I mean, I had some magic pouring out of my brain for about 10 years of my life. And I go back and look, where did I, why would I ever think of doing these things that were so different, so advanced? And um, right. so there's way too many stories, but one of them is how um, I was designing Breakout for Atari and four days and nights, no sleep, and your head wanders this when you're Atari, not sleeping. This is Atari, the game company, Atari Computer. Atari, the yeah. Atari Computers came from Atari. They were starting the arcade game industry. It did not exist. There were no arcade games until Atari oh. with Pong and then a few others. And I was mm -hmm. designing Breakout right down there in four days and nights. Nobody could design a game in that short a time because it's a thousand wires on a hundred chips hooking things up to get signals going just right. Uh, I spent four days up in a row and we actually completed it Steve Jobs and I it was all my design but while I was there my head wanders when you're sleeping going to sleep is some of the best yeah. time to get creative thoughts or waking up and they're in your head and I thought of wouldn't it be great if these arcade games were color someday it was the first time ever that arcade games were color and even more importantly I said, wait, I'm taking numbers out of a computer why don't I make rather than a wire going off to a digital display why don't I just have the display get some of the data that's being scanned in the memory of the computer? The computer oh. is the arcade game. So the computer was the arcade game, and that meant it was software. Also, Dial-A-Joke. Can't forget Dial-A-Joke. Um, I started that all on my own, and I ran a, you phone a number and you get a joke. Um, now, I go, oh, I go back to the blue boxes. We're talking about out-of-the-box thinking. I, you press a button, one, two, three, four, five, and you've got to create a couple of tones, beep, 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 like touch tones. And so the, right. when you pressed a button, it put out all these lines to the chips telling it the inputs, which number to divide by to get the tone you want. And it would, there were two tones, all these things. And I had a little array in there. And then what occurred to me is inside the chips actually have to put out a little bit of, like if electrons are going in, a little bit of positive current's coming out, tiny bit out of the inputs. So the inputs are also outputs. And I fed them back into the, the touch all the keys that came out one common thing that was supposed to be grounded, meaning when you push, push the buttons, it'll decide which of the lines will get grounded on those chips that are making the tones. Only instead right. of grounding it, I actually fed it into a two transistor circuit card called a Darlington amplifier, amplifies it hugely, and it provided the power that turned the chips on. And you'd say, how do the chips supply a signal to turn themselves on? through all this mechanism and it was really, but right. I knew how the chips worked inside analog and so I was able to accomplish that. That was another right. well, really that, great that, out that of the box. That goes to this hacker's, this hacker's mindset of, 
you not only used the technology, you understood the technology so well, you could make the technology do things that wasn't ever intended. <laughs> and that's what's really inspiring for, for me and for hackers. It's it's sort of like the manufacturer says, no, you can't do color. And you say, no, wait a minute. I bet I can do color. That's right. And the rules, the rules with, don't apply if you can do it better. Right. 